Okay, so next up, Security Hall. Uh, mission 1, the point threshold was 12,000, which we already got, so we don't have to worry about that. 100 rings! This can actually be kind of tricky, but there's actually a pretty nifty trick for this. And it does involve kind of that trick that I showed off before. Um, but let's go ahead and get this started. First of all, get some rings, get hits. This will basically allow us to collect a few more. And that'll spawn that back ring, so we can... I think we want to go this way first. And again, four minutes is like a lot of time, too, so... Also, this, this music theme is really good. I, I love the security hall music. Rouge low-key has some good uh, level things. So we're gonna do that. Next we're gonna go over here. So we can both of these. We're up to 50, now we're gonna go back to the ring down here. And start over. Grab some more rings. And it's actually kind of funny. Um, I actually learned about that trick uh, recently. Before, I actually did the levels the intended ways, where you just literally have to look around and find where all these uh, like loose ring boxes are, and it, it, it is pretty difficult. Not gonna lie. But um, after I learned the trick, I'm like, okay, yeah, this is definitely the best way to do these because you don't have to worry about uh, timing yourself through the entire level looking for just all the random loose ring capsules. Honestly, Retro Maniac, that's not too surprising. Because, I mean, with the time limit of this level, you're going to be beating this level fast regardless. So, it's actually not too bad to get an A rank here. But, you know, it, it is a funny thing to think about because I feel like this level is very notorious for a lot of reasons. Okay, mission number three, we have the Lost Chow. Uh, we have to do this in... We actually have to do this in 30 seconds. So we have to be very, very quick here. But I believe there is kind of a nifty trick for this one. Uh, this is also a case where you actually don't use Mystic Melody to find the Lost Child. You actually need... I mean, I guess technically you do because you need Mystic Melody to get the Treasure Scope. But yeah, you need the uh, Treasure Scope for this. There we go. I got it. Uh, basically, Wallach, uh, the trick uh, that I used was grab one or two rings, get hit by an enemy. That'll cause the back ring to spawn. And then you can just collect like half the rings and then hit the back ring to reset and just collect the same rings again. It's a great way to like just do these sections pretty fast. Okay, mission number four, time attack. 13,000 points, which is actually higher than... It's 1,000 higher than the normal one. But we also have to do this in less time. Three and a half minutes should be plenty, you could say. Okay, only an awesome. That's not great. I think it's in the blue save. Yeah, it's in... Oh, man. Two safes! That's really annoying. It threw the ring... It threw two emeralds in two different saves. That's very bad luck and very bad RNG. Because, I mean, there's times where you won't get, like, any saves. Like, 
It, it's literally luck based in every sense of the word. And I missed that guy. So, so wait, I, I feel like I got a yellow light. I didn't. Never mind. Okay, it's in here. Yeah, that's the first one. Over here. times in a row we had two safes. I've never seen it do it that much. Like it, it's definitely something that can happen, because it's happened twice now. But... Okay, so... Should probably grab some rings too before I... I'll need 6,200. Okay, we got it. How is that? Perfect? Like me? Yeah, honestly, I don't know why they gimped the radar the way it did. I mean, it's obviously because of the hint system. Because they wanted to make like clear hints and they wanted to make more dynamic hints, which is fine. But again, it does just kind of ruin the uh, this, the radar in general. Because like they expect you to get like whenever you read a hint, they want you to go for the emerald that's currently selected. So that's why it's the way it's the way it is. But yeah, just just not great design. Okay, last but not least, we have the final mission here. Um, Hard mode, 16,000 points, and um, I guess um, just a refresher of how this works for the treasure hunting stages. Uh, it's not random, so you'll always have the same three emeralds, so it's just basically a matter of finding the fastest path to each emerald, and, or, well, yeah, there's still emeralds here. But yeah, finding the fastest path to each of the things, and that's pretty much it. So here's the first emerald. <laughs> that was easy. Uh, second emerald, I believe, is actually at the top. And you do need the... Uh, um, you do need to turn on a save. For the last emerald. I just don't remember which save. This emerald's also pretty random because, yeah, this one's literally just floating over here. Okay. So we can grab a ring or 
to. Could have, could, might have another chance to grab it. Uh, so what you want to do here is, first of all, we'll locate it. It's in one of these sections. Yeah, it is red. Okay, so we do need to turn on the red hints, or the red uh, save. We'll go back up and do that really quick. Maybe destroy the robots. And legally do. This is red, right? Yep. This, fly back. It's okay. So what we have to do here, and this is weird. Like apparently at the top of the level, there's like a switch you can hit. Or something to that effect. You have to kind of use the treasure scope. Yeah, it's here. Hit this, hit the switch, and that'll stop this. And then... Damn it, game. <laughs> Sonic Adventure 2, everybody. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> uh, and I have to restart because, yeah, I have zero points. It happened again! There we go. I got it. Sixteen thousand was the score, so we definitely got it. Perfect, like me. There we go. Security hall is done.